As we talked about before, connecting too much with our thoughts creates a fake sense of self, known as the ego. The ego always wants more, leading to endless desires. This is why many people strongly tie their self-worth to their problems. If you can stop letting time distract you, especially in your thoughts, it will help you to be free. Being overly attached to your thoughts means being stuck in time. You end up living mostly in the past or the future, not fully appreciating the present moment. This constant focus on what has happened and what might happen creates a never-ending preoccupation. The past gives you a sense of who you are, and the future holds the hope of finding fulfillment. However, both are not real, they are illusions. The timeless present is where your entire life unfolds, the one constant factor. Consider this, can anything truly happen outside of the present moment? The truth is, nothing ever occurred in the past, it happened in the now. Nothing will happen in the future, it will unfold in the now. The key to the spiritual dimension lies in a shift from time to presence, often experienced naturally in life-threatening emergencies. This involves a heightened state of conscious presence, being very still yet extremely alert. Some people are drawn to risky activities like mountain climbing or car racing because, whether they realize it or not, it brings them into an intensely alive state free from the constraints of time and problems. Throughout history, spiritual leaders have emphasized the now as the gateway to the spiritual realm. In religious settings, you might hear about the serene flowers that live effortlessly in the present without worrying about the future. Unfortunately, the profound depth of these teachings often goes unnoticed. Your mind can't truly understand you. It can only create labels, judgments, facts, and opinions about you. Let the mind and its knowledge stay in their place. If entering the present moment directly feels challenging, start by observing how your mind tends to escape from the now. Pay as much attention to your reactions as you do to the situations or people triggering them. Intense presence is crucial, especially when certain situations evoke strong emotional reactions. Clock time deals with practical aspects of life, while psychological time involves being stuck in the past and obsessively projecting into the future. Enlightened individuals primarily focus on the present. Remaining aware of clock time but breaking free from psychological time. Examples of psychological time, like rigid belief systems such as communism, national socialism, or strict religious ideologies. Often harm societies, communism alone caused the death of millions. Consider how this mental pattern operates in your life. Are you constantly striving to be somewhere other than where you are? Is your every action merely a means to an end? Do you believe fulfillment is always just out of reach, or limited to short-lived pleasures like sex, food, drinks, drugs, thrills, and excitement? Is your attention fixed on becoming, achieving, and acquiring, or are you chasing new thrills and pleasures? Do you think acquiring more possessions will make you more fulfilled, worthy, or psychologically whole? Are you relying on someone else to give meaning to your life? If you answered yes to any of these questions, you may be caught in the trap of the insanity of psychological time. Take a break from your current life situation and focus on your life itself. You may ask, what's the distinction? Well, your life situation is tied to time, while your life is happening in the present. Life situations are products of the mind, but your life is genuine. Engage your senses completely. Be present in the moment. Observe your surroundings without overthinking. Notice the light, shapes, colors, and textures. Recognize the silent essence within each thing. Be mindful of the space that accommodates everything. Listen to sounds without passing judgment. Tune into the silence beneath the sounds. Touch something, anything, and acknowledge its existence. Observe the rhythm of your breath, feel the air moving in and out, sensing the life energy within you. Embrace everything, both within and around you. Allow the, isness, of all things. Immerse yourself deeply in the present moment. In a genuine emergency, the mind halts, and you become entirely present in the now. This explains why many regular individuals can suddenly perform remarkably courageous acts. Ask yourself, does what I'm doing bring joy, ease, and lightness? If not, you might be overshadowing the present moment, viewing life as a burden or a struggle. Focus more on the doing itself than the desired outcome. The, how, is often more crucial than the, what. Pay attention to your actions rather than being overly fixated on the end result.
Neither failure nor success can alter your inner state of being once you're free from psychological time. You've discovered the life beneath your life situation. But what about achieving external goals? When free from psychological time, you no longer pursue goals with grim determination fueled by fear, anger, discontent, or the need to become someone. Likewise, you won't remain inactive due to fear of failure, which the ego interprets as a loss of self. In conclusion of this chapter, we can say, embracing the present moment, breaking free from the illusions of psychological time, and cultivating a heightened awareness of the now can lead to a more fulfilling and authentic life. By letting go of the constant pursuit of external goals and finding joy in the process, one can experience the pleasure of being and discover a profound sense of inner peace and contentment.